Hey guys, Lax from 360 Trickspot here, bringing you a tutorial on how to add your Bluetooth device to your computer. Okay, so um, the reason I'm making this tutorial is because I am making another tutorial that involves Bluetooth, and um, I just I'm making this tutorial because uh, this is gonna basically set you up for that tutorial, and this is just basically for people that don't know how to set up their Bluetooth device to their computer. Okay, so um. Let's get started. Uh, go to the start button. In the search box, type in Bluetooth. All right, under the programs, you should have like Bluetooth, Bluetooth file transfer wizard, Bluetooth devices. Um, it might not say exactly like this. I'm not too sure, but um, just click on Bluetooth devices or something that sounds like that. From here, the box should pop up. From here, um, click on Bluetooth settings. Then the Bluetooth properties box should pop up. So uh, right here where it says turn off the Bluetooth adapter, you want to uncheck that so it turns on. Click apply and click OK. Okay, now it's turned on. Now you want to click on add wireless device. Alright, from here you want to go to your device. So I'm going to go there right now and show you what to do from there. Okay, so now you're at your device and what you want to do is you want to turn on your Bluetooth for your device. So go to uh, the main menu. I am right now using an LG MV Touch, by the way. Um, okay, from here you want to go to your settings or whatever, uh, and you want to locate your Bluetooth settings. It should have the Bluetooth icon right there. I know you can't see anything very well on my camera because it's kind of blurry, but yeah, this is Bluetooth right here. So click on that. Then it might bring up a screen like this. I'm not too sure how they all look on other phones, but um. It should probably have all these buttons, all these settings. So this is turn on, this one is show, and this one is add. Okay, so what you want to do first is turn it on. So this is going to turn on the Bluetooth for your device. So okay, it's turning on. All right, it's turned on. Um, now you want to click on show so that your device becomes discoverable to the computer. Okay, so click on show. All right, and now we're going to go back to the computer. All right, so once you're done hitting that show button, um, your device should appear in this window. So as you can see, here's my phone right here. So what you want to do is you want to click on your device, and then you want to click on the button that says Next. All right, now it should give you a few options here. Create a pairing code for me and the device's pairing code or a pair without using code. Uh, I usually click on Create a pairing code for me because I'm using a phone. So you can click on that if you're using a phone, or you can click on pair without using a code. That's the two I would click on. So I'm going to click on create a pairing code for me. Now it gives you a code. Now you want to go to your phone, in my case. I'm um, just going to be an example. Um, and you want to click on yes to accept the pairing um, request from your computer. And you want to type in this number. So 86, 45, 85, 29, and click done or something and it should say like pairing complete and on my phone right now it says always ask or always connect it gives me two options I'm going to click on always connect okay now you gotta wait for it to configure your device and there you go your phone is added to your computer through Bluetooth okay so now I'm going to show you what it looks like on my phone too Okay, so once you're done connecting your device to your computer, you should go to your Bluetooth menu and check here, and you can see that mine has the computer right under here. So it says my name, and it says my computer, which is a PC. And um, uh, this is basically just telling me that it's connected. So you can just double check and go to your Bluetooth menu and go here. And... Um, so now I'm going to go back to the computer and show you uh, just a few things that are cool to do with Bluetooth. Okay. Alright, so once you've made sure that your device is connected to your computer through Bluetooth, you can go back to your computer and you can actually do some pretty cool stuff involving Bluetooth. So the first thing I want to show you is that you can delete your device anytime by going to Bluetooth devices and clicking on your device and clicking remove wireless device. And then click yes, but um, 
yeah, you can delete it any time, or you can always add another device. Um, but now what I want to do is I want to go to the Start menu in the search box. I want to type in Bluetooth, so just like before, um, type in Bluetooth in the search box. But um, now you want to go to Bluetooth File Transfer Wizard under Programs. Okay, from here you can either send a file to your phone through Bluetooth, so you can send like videos and pictures and stuff, or you can receive a file. So it's going to send um, like a picture or a video that you have on your phone to your computer so that it can be saved on your computer. So that's pretty cool. But um, I'm going to let you guys experiment for yourselves on that one. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. And subscribe for more.